Hi everyone, Jeffy here, and welcome back to Around the World in Many Days. Today's episode is number 24, and it's titled Changing Landscape. Uh, let's see where Gladys might be this time. Pretty short intro here. Dear Puzzling, today I am at a place high up in the mountains that I would have loved to visit 20 or 30 years ago. The views from up here are still breathtaking, but the glacier that once covered this area is now gone forever. Definitely still worth the visit, and it has been on my bucket list uh, for a long time now. Can you guess where I am? Love Gladys. Okay, so just telling us where she might be, we're looking for a place in the mountains that used to have a glacier, and no instructions on what to do. But we do have two crossword grids, cryptic and straight, and we have clues below for both. So let's dive into the cryptic crossword first then. So we have clues across here. Let's start with uh, this one too across. Cancels hospital drama. Um, can be... Uh, hospital can be H. That there's an abbreviation for hospital, H. But here it's uh, this is a double definition. One definition is cancels, and the other is a hospital drama, the name of a hospital drama. And uh, Scrubs is a hospital drama on TV, and uh, if you scrub something, you cancel it. Uh, cancel is one meaning of, of the verb scrub. So that was just a double definition for Scrubs, and that gives us some starting letters for this down clues. So let's go in the normal order here and use these starting letters then. So three down. Copper left in boxing arena. This is an Olympic sport. Um, copper obviously can mean a police officer, but copper often means uh, means the metal copper, uh, which is abbreviated CU. Start with C here. So maybe this could be CU. Left can be L, uh, abbreviation L for left. And then a boxing arena uh, where where boxing happens, that would be the ring. So can we get CU, then ring with L inside it? And that would give us the name of an Olympic sport. See you here, and then ring somehow with uh, with the L somewhere. Well, that would be curling. The uh, L going here, L for left going here. Curling is has been played in the Olympics. So uh, let's look at four down then. So State University, north of Panama, may be brought up. Well, if you see state, obviously the definition is going to be at, either at the start or at the end. Brought up is, is an indicator word, like uh, something is brought up in a down clue, it is written backwards. So looks possible that the definition is going to be state here. And there's one state in particular that fits here, which is Utah. So how does that work? University can be abbreviated U, which is what we have here. And that is north of, that is, uh, since this is a down clue, north of, this being north of the other thing. So it is before the other thing. And Panama maybe, uh, brought up meaning backwards. If we write hat backwards, we would get Utah here. And a, a Panama is a type, type of hat, a Panama hat. So hat backwards, uh, U uh, at the top of it, we get Utah, which is a state. Let's look at, should we look at this five down next? Rear end Euro vehicle. A um, couple of post potential um, indicators or abbreviations here. Euro can be abbreviated E, uh, e and uh, there's no letter G. I'm not sure why I said that. Oh, because it's Euro. Yeah, yeah, it could, could be abbreviated E and end, the end of rear could be this R here. But rear end is also a thing. It can be uh, a verb, as in in the surface here, you rear, rear end someone, or it can be some the rear end of something. And here 
this is a double definition. So the rear end, your rear end is your seat, and uh, Seat is the is a Spanish car maker, so a Euro vehicle. Now that that used up all our starting letters, but we have some good checking letters for this long for this long seven across. So let's go back to the acrosses. Can't, can't really show the, the entire list of clues here because we have so little room and there are like two sets of clues. We have cryptics and then we also have these traits. So I'm gonna have to scroll a little bit. So let's see, law enforcing northerners is facial hair disentangles. Okay, so the maybe the key key phrase here is this is all one unit, and if you can guess what what those people might be called, eight letters, then you pr basically have the answer. Um, northerners meaning people from the north, in this case Canada. <clears throat> so how does this work? Uh, Canadian police officers are Mounties, and Facial hair. Mo is a type type of facial hair, mustache, mo. And if something disentangles, it unties. Mo plus unties is mounties. Canadian police officers. Let's see. Let's see about this one down. We have an M at the middle here. So unit of military police pursuing mafia's second most prominent member. Now this is should be very doable here. We're looking for uh, the name of a unit. And uh, military police can be abbreviated MP. Uh, you might, I think some military police even have MP like in the, in the uniform. MP is military police. And uh, that is pursuing, that is after something. And all of these words, Mafia's second most prominent member, all of those words clue just one letter. So we have MP following something. <clears throat> and if you see this, this structure in, in a cr crossword, it's going to be AMP or IMP. And IMP is not a unit, but AMP is. And why is Mafia's second most prominent member the letter A? Well, if you look at the word Mafia, the most prominent me uh, member of the the most prominent letter of that word would be the first letter, and the second most would be the second letter. So the second letter of mafia is the A. So that gives us the A for amp. Let's look at what about this? This we should be able to do because uh, we have all the checking letters we are going to get for for nine across. Let's look at that one. Some extremists deserted Greek city state. Now this is. Um, some is very often used as an indicator word. It's not here, but often it's a hidden word indicator. So if you see some and then extremists uh, deserted something, you should be immediately be looking in, in here. Four letters inside these words. Does that spell out something? But here it doesn't. And here it's we need a name for a Greek city-state. And we remove the extremes, the, the, the extreme letters of that um, of that name, and we get a word meaning sum. Now here we have some help from the grid. So if we ma imagine a six-letter word, something p, something r, something, and then another letter at the end, where we, we could remove the first and last letter to get a word meaning sum. Well. If you have sum of something, you have part of something. And part is fits here. And that is Sparta without the S at the start and A at the end. Now we have a starting ladder for eight down. Let's look at that. Following departure of head of sales, CEOs wish high performance. Now Departure of something. Um, if something departs from a word, you, you remove remove that part, and that part that's being removed is head of sales. So the head of the word sales would be the first letter, the head letter of the the word sales. So after some after s is being removed, 
after S has been removed from all of this, well, that's eight letters. Remove the S, which is here. And we left it with the letters C, E, O, Wish. And those letters are high. They are in, in disorder, in other words. So we anagram those letters and we get a word meaning performance. Or not a word, a phrase for three and four. And uh, now this is not performance as in how you perform in uh, like at work, like this surface would indicate, it's this a uh, type of performance. And uh, if we put in these letters, we have CEO, so CEO, and then wish, W I S H, and we get, get ice show. An ice show is a type of performance. Now, then we have uh, starting letter for this 15 across. Let's look at that. Utter insanity. All pieces of tin scrapped. Now, it's, it's only three letters. Insanity. Uh, often, if something is insane, in a uh, cryptic clue, it means anagramming. You put letters in an insane order, so to speak. So, it could be an anagram of this. But here, actually, um, utter is the definition here. So we take the word insanity and all pieces of the word tin are scrapped from this. So every instance of T, I and N are removed from this. So this I, this N, we leave the S, we leave the A, and then N, I, T we remove and we leave the, the Y as well. And we're left with say. And to say something is to utter it. So utter as a verb instead of an adjective in, as in the, the surface reading. Um, let's, and this looks very doable, this 11 across too. <clears throat> let's look at that. So the eighth letter of alphabet starting in alpha. Um, an alphabet starting in alpha, that would be the Greek alphabet, right? And the eighth letter of the Greek alphabet is theta. Well, how does that make sense as a cryptic clue? Well, this is a, an and lit clue. So all of this just defines theta, and all of this is also the the whole clue is also the word play. So the is plain. That's the, these letters here, T H E. Eight letter of alphabet. Well, if we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the the eighth letter of the word alphabet would be this T here. So that's this T. And then starting in al alpha, the starting letter of the word alpha is A. So that forms the word theta, which is the answer. And then <clears throat> we're left with this six down. Let's see. Go south of Tennessee, southern state. Um, now south, the south of the word Tennessee, uh, in a down clue, so south is down. So in a down clue, this would be the, the, the southernmost letter of the word Tennessee. Uh, so E, southern. In another meaning, uh, southern can be abbreviated S. All the compass, uh, compass directions have a one letter uh, abbreviation. So E would be here, S would be here, and then state. Um, would be not a, a state as in Tennessee is a state, but to state is to say. We had here to utter is to say, and here we have to state is to say. And um, all of that makes essay. And an essay is a go. You, you have a try at something, you have a go at it. So an essay is a go. Um, so half this top half pretty much done. Let's look at this uh, 10 across, which ends in L. And that would finish the, the actual top half. Uh, 10 across is right wingers to consume large and small fish. Now, you might be thinking about 
when you see right wingers, there are a couple of approaches here. One is to think of terms for right wingers that, like that, could be GOP, for example, is a term for right wingers, uh, which is the Republican Party. But uh, but here it's the since this is an across clue, so the rightmost letters, the right wingers of these words would be E, E, and L. It could be this D as well. And can be a part of it, part of it, but it can also and can be just telling you to take the the rightmost letter of letters of these three words, and this L fits the grid here. And an eel is a fish. I think we had that last last time as well. The word eel, and I think I actually mentioned that it's a common uh, crossword word. So here we are. Um, yeah, so eel is the answer there. It's just the last letters of this, uh, these three words here. Then let's look at, uh, we have a starting letter for this 10 down. Rival cavalrymen emptied up pockets. Now, I mentioned some uh, as a, as an, that's often used as a hidden word indicator. Well, a word like pockets can mean that as well, in that uh, something pockets another thing. So it's taken it, it's stolen it. So these words would have been pocketing, would be pocketing uh, a word, word for rival. Well, it's not as simple as that because we have the word up here. So we are having, going to have to reverse this whole thing. And that, uh, once reversed, that then pockets the word for rival. So if we look inside but backwards, we have E N E M Y, enemy here, which is a word for rival. Then let's see, we have a starting letter for 12 across here. It's here. Claws inflict pain upon cutting poles. Now, poles, I think we've discussed several times, is often, even with this capital letter, is often just N and S, which is North and South Pole. N is here. We need an S here. And we put a word for inflict pain upon. Three-letter word with I in the middle. And we would get claws. So if you ail, something ails you, it inflicts pain upon you, it hurts you. And nails are claws. So can we do this long one? Uh, 18 across. Container associated with Nazis holds sexy pics. Um, now Nazis often is the abbreviation SS. And that holds something. So the definition is going to be pics here and that's because container, uh, if this was the definition, what would associated with be doing? Because associated with, uh, as an indicator word, it means something is associated with another thing. So you put the two things next to each other. Uh, so it's going to be picks. So we need a container at the start. And it's going to be mug. A mug is a container. And then SS here, which contains something, which holds a word for sexy is hot. Someone is hot, they are sexy. And mug shots are pics. They are pictures of your face. So um, mug shots was the answer here. And we are um, we're going to take this. Uh, yeah, let's do this 13 actually. I was somehow confused on what to do. I'm not sure why. Here we are. Never mind. Perhaps Bob's beginning to escape compound, uh, compound with L. So this could be compound or compound here. Yeah. So uh, uh, even though the surface reading suggests one thing, it might be one or the other. But um, so, um, never mind, so, spelled as one word, is, um, is a thing, it's a music album. So, never mind, perhaps, what would uh, never mind be an example of? That would be an album. Bob's beginning is B, 
So that escapes the word album and we get the word alum. And an alum is a chemical compound with al, as in aluminium. So compound with al, not as in a person's name, but actually uh, the metal aluminium. Let's look at 19. Here we are. Male predator backed by personal label. Um, predator uh, can mean so many things because there are so many uh, predators, so many animals that eat meat, right? Male one, though, uh, is going to be the word tom here. Uh, a male cat is a tom and cats are predators. So that is going to fit this M here because it's going to be backed. It's going to be backwards. So Tom backwards here. And that is by something that is next to a word for personal. Uh, your personal something is your own something. So own next to Tom backwards gives Motown. And Motown is a label of music. So 14 down. Final nine across of Dracula's Tango. Now, Dracula's Tango, uh, I believe that's a film. Nine across, the answer for nine across, we do have that, and that is part. So, final part of. Now, final part of Dracula would be this A here. Tango is a useful uh, word for wordplay as well, because uh, tango is uh, the, the international radio alphabet code for T. So tango can be T. Uh, but here it's much simpler than that. It's um, if we look at what words might fit here, it's going to be a word meaning final. Spoiler alert, it's last and it's part of these words. Here it's spelled out last. So that's just a hidden word here. Once we had this indicator from the other clue. Now let's see 16. We're missing this last across clue that we're missing. So 10 down. That's another reference to our clue, uh, the answer we already have. So eel. Eel of US. No, I'm reading it wrong. It's not 10 across. It's 10 down. Enemy, okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. The eel of US does not make sense. The enemy of US does. Enemy of US produced meth. Now, produced can be an anagram indicator. You produce, make a production of these letters, put them in a different order. And if you do that, you do get an enemy of not the US, as in the United States, but enemy of us. Uh, you, might, you might see us and them as opposing parts. So us, in all caps here, enemy of us is them. And one word left, starting with MS, 17 down. So Miss Newton and Mr. Gates's company launched this web portal in 1995. That's a pretty long clue for three letters. And Miss, we already have that. That's MS here. We only need one, one more letter. And Newton, from the, from physics, Newton is uh, abbreviated N. If you have uh, one Newton, is one N. So MS and then N, and that's all the wordplay we need. MS N, and the definition is then all of this stuff. Mr. Gates's company, as in Bill Gates's company, Microsoft launched the MSN web portal in 1995. So that's pretty straightforward, but maybe a longer definition than you would need there, and or maybe expect. So that's the cryptic crossword done. Nothing too tricky, I think. Pretty straightforward. And now we are going to look at the straight crossword next. Now it's the same grid, uh, same grid. If you've noticed, these are all the numbers are in the same positions, and the, all the 
uh, lines are in the same positions. So it's basically the same grid, but probably different answers. So we are going to look at the straight clues next. So uh, two across, small bushes are going to be shrubs. And I'm having some kind of deja vu because I think we had the word shrubs in the previous crossword as well. And and like it it was months before, uh, in between making the previous uh, previous puzzle and this one. So it's a pretty weird coincidence that we have such similar words here. But let's see, uh, three down, starting with H. We're going to use these letters again. Three down, Gaelic sport, that would be hurling. Hurling here is a sport from Ireland, right? Uh, four down, starting with U, the home of jazz. Well, we're not, not talking about... The home of jazz would be in New Orleans, right? But jazz with a capital letter is the, the team uh, jazz, the Utah jazz. So Utah again, same as here, actually. Then we have uh, five down, religious group. Now this is sect. A sect is a religious group. And then can we do this seven? Seven across this long answer. Canadian coppers. Oh, well, we had copper before, not meaning police officer then, but here it means police officer, and we know the answer already. So that's the same one as in the cryptic. Cryptic version, that is Mounties. And we have a lot of the same letters as well. Scrubs, shrubs, hurling, curling. So pretty similar answers. Maybe we can use, uh, if we get stuck, maybe we can look at what the answer is in this one, but I don't think it'll come to that. Let's see. One down, piece of guitar equipment. Well, this is amp again. Amp is a unit, ampere, but it's also an ampl amplifier, is a, a piece of guitar equipment or any other electrical instrument for that matter. So amp uh, there. So then we go nine across is roll a position. That's still part. You play a part, you play a role. Let's see, 10 across, fish, which can be electric. Well, there's an electric eel. So this is still eel. 11, Greek letter, looks like theta. Uh, yeah, I think that's the only option with the H here. Then we have, let's look at this nine down, uh, eight down, sorry. Spectacle on skates, that's ice show. So this is going to be pretty easy because so many of these are similar. Let's see, written treatise, this is still essay, you write an essay. Now this looks the same as well. Sylvester Stallone, Sylvester Stallone has a short nickname Sly, so it's actually different than we have there. Sly is the answer. Let's see, we have uh, 10 down starting with E here. Bowel cleanse. That is, that is not going to be enemy here, but it's going to be a similar word, enema. It's a bowel cleanse. Now let's see 12 down, uh, 12 across, sorry. Metal fasteners. That's still nails, not as in your fingernails, but actual metal nails or fasteners. Then we have 13 down. Let's see, potassium aluminium sulfate. Well, we had that already, that's alum. It's the compound with aluminium, and that's just, it spelled out what it actually is. Um, 19 across, record label from Michigan. Well, Motown, again from Detroit, so still going to work as an answer here. Now this has to be mugshots, right? There's no way there's another word that fits here. 18 prisoner photos are mugshots, so this is still the same. 
14 down, endure, survive. You lost, you endure, so lost still works. What about the 16? Sound of clearing throat. Now it's not going to be a thumb, but it's going to be a similar word. It's going to be a hum with an A here. And 17 down, last one. Place to access Hotmail or Messenger, say. This is still MSN. And I mean, good luck finding another word that fits here. That said, I mean, there is a three letter abbreviation for everything, and the, which is why I really dislike using words like these because. It can be anything. If you look up, you put a random letter there and you open up Wikipedia, you find like five meanings for that uh, abbreviation. But anyway, MSN, I think pretty well well known. So it's, it's I think it's okay to use here. So we got, we got two different grids, but not all that different. And uh, that should probably... Uh, tell us that we probably need to look at the, the differences here, since there are, these grids are so similar. Why would we have two, uh, two uh, grids that are so similar? So let's look at what letters are different in our grids here. So this scrub, this C from scrub and H from shrub were different. Uh, mounties were the same part, same. Eel, theta, same. Nails say no, not the A from say and the, the L from sly clashed there. Then we have them and ahem. Then we have um, Motan was the same. Then in the down clues we have enema and enemy. We had alum was the same, curling and hurling, but we already marked that. Last is the same, Utah is the same, ice show is the same, seat and sect. They're different. SA and MSN, all the same. And now after marking this, this should now spell our mountainous destination. So that spells out C-H-A-C-A-L-T-A-Y-A, Chakaltaya, which is a place in Bolivia. Let's open, open the map up. Actually, so let's see what Chakaltaya is first. So this is the a mountain in the Andes uh, in Bolivia, which used to have a, 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 large, a large glacier, but it's now melted. So that is where we are. And let's look at our map then. Where are we currently going? So we were in Ushuaia last time, Argentina. Went to, went to the Antarctic Peninsula there, back to Ushuaia, and now we are way up here, Chakaltaya, Bolivia. So pretty long distances here still, and we are moving north uh, in South America. So that was the answer to this one. I think maybe not as, as tricky as the, the previous puzzle. And uh, we can look at what's coming up next. And uh, I'm going to have to look it up because I don't remember what it is. OK, so the next, the next puzzle is titled Ticking Off Boxes. And uh, I will see you guys for episode, is it then 25? Yeah, so for 24, thanks for watching and I'll see you for 25.